Matthew Seltovic. So Matt Selt gets frame six underway. Just playing for pride at the moment, you would think. Can he get a frame on the scoreboard and avoid the whitewash? Just over one hour and 22 minutes. That's all we've been playing. Unfortunately, and it has to be said that there's only one player out there at the moment, and that's Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, and I think this applies to all players playing against Ronnie. You know, you get seem to get plenty chances in the first two or three frames, but as soon as you don't take them, he just gets stronger and stronger. He's, he's the best front runner in the game at the moment. Well, if he's covered, uh, pass back to Bork down the right-hand side of the table, he's in a spot of bother here, Matt. The left hand side of the table, very congested. So he's having to come off the side cushion. He can hit reds, but he doesn't feel as though he can get it safe, so I'll just roll into the side of the cluster. Gotta be careful he doesn't slide by them. And he left one to the middle. <clears throat> Fun. It goes wrong big time. Unlucky to leave that, you could say. So Ronnie is off and running again. Eight. And this time, Nine. there are no reds in the other half of the table. Sixteen. Seventeen. Mm, a little bit straighter on the black than we would have liked, but he's seen that there's a red available to the right middle. They must be the way he's played that. 24. 25. Yeah, nicely played. And this time a good angle on the black now. You always need a bit of luck when you go into the cluster. And he's OK. The red just below the pink will go to the left middle. 32. Great chance now. Thirty-three. Yeah, this is a more orthodox chance. Red's in a well, apart from the red and the left cushion, you couldn't really place them any better. Yes, and he may just have the angle on that red just above 40. the pink. To the right middle. If he's got the angle, he could come back off, back off this one. Well, he's not much of an angle. He's got to force it. He's got to force it over. 41. Now, under normal circumstances, you say we'll play the pink, but I think he's got maximum in mind.
48. Yeah, there's only one thing happening here. Apart from him making a match winning 49. break. 49. As he's going for a maximum. A bit disheartening when you're his opponent when you see him refuse the easy pink for the difficult black there, but you just have to sit there and appreciate what he's doing. 56. Well, maybe Matt's had his last shot in this match. But Ronnie's yep. got a little bit of work to do okay. here. Just asking Jan Verhaas to clean the red, just foreign object, just catching his eye. He's got to stun this cue ball in between the pink and that little cluster of four. That's right. To play for the black in the same pocket as the red. Thank you. Played it nicely. 57. Now, I think that was four reds. I think Wallington will pot. So he didn't have to play any cannons into them. And I think as he pots one, he releases another. 64. Sixty-five. This black and one more red. And the frame's over. And the match. Seventy-two. So all eyes now. Seventy-three. Can he make the maximum? Yeah, normally with a right-handed player, you would say the red and the left cushion's awkward, but you know, Ronnie's no problem for him to play with his left hand, so it's not really any, any difficulty in this break. It's 81. just his concentration. Don't play any careless shots. You can't see any other outcome here. Yeah, that red near the right middle sort of worries you a little bit because he tried to get on that before, but you've just got to get past we're all crossing our fingers. So this time he's trying to get on that red. Needs to run. He's finished on it. That was the awkward red. He's got a nice hand on it to come back for the black. 89. Everybody eyes on Ronnie at the moment. 96. At this point, and a maximum that you just don't notice anything else going on around you. 97. Audience, opponents, other tables, cameras, nothing. You're just in your own bubble here. 104. Yeah. 105. <laughs> Standing on the black. No, I was just going to say, not ideal in the black, John. I'd, 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 I'd touch straighter in this black to get close to the red. That's about as good as he could do. 112. Dead straight, the cue ball's going to be quite close to the cushion here. Everybody stop now, watching this. And it goes. And now, 13. has he got the angle on the black to punch it in off one cushion? Little shake of the head. Is he absolutely perfect? He's got to make the angle. <laughs> He's played it well. He's got this barbecue crown. Absolutely. 122. Right to move. And then every pot gets a big round of applause. I've said it before, this is the biggest buzz you can get playing snooker, making a 147. Okay. 125. Right. 129. Just got to judge the pace now, on and off the top cushion. 
Well, he's played for the pink in the middle. Is he going to... Yes, that was a heart stopper. 